Ryan Daniel Horrible Lot, so exactly what the title says, it says tips and tricks to help you survive in World War Z. Now, I know I'm British, but I still call it Z, because World War Z just doesn't sound right, okay? It doesn't. So if you want to know how you can absolutely wipe through them zombies, stay on the video and I'll be letting you know. First one's pretty obvious, I'm going to jump straight into it, alright? There's no faffing about here, we just get straight on with it and we kill them, alright? Play with real people. So obviously, World War Z gives you the option to play with bots, so if you're offline, you can play with them, but are any kind of helpful for lower difficulties, but you can use them instead of real people if you want to. They they do serve you well on like low and all that kind of crap. If you go to like insane and ramp up the difficulty, they are useless. They can't do anything. So when things start getting difficult, matchmake. Um, it does make it easier, but you won't be such a loner, I mean, no one likes playing by themselves. Mark enemies and items for your teammates when you're playing online. So, if you're playing with real people, then uh, it'll always be helpful to mark strong enemies such as the bulls and the hazmat zombies so your team can spot them easily because you don't want to wait for them to get really close and then get absolutely mauled to death by them. So, you can mark the items up too so you can help a friend out and mark up any items they need such as med kits and power weapons. To mark something or someone, simply aim at them and press up on the D-pad or whatever the control is for the PC. So don't be don't be selfish, all right? Choose a class that helps the team. If you join a game and everyone is a damage dealer like gunslingers or hellraisers, choose the medic class or the fixer because you need to have someone of each class so it creates like an equal balance. So it's easy to overlook how helpful them classes can be to a team anyway, especially if you like running around like in early game as things are a lot easier. But as you progress, you will need these class people going down, you need the medic, you need people to fix the turrets. So consider leaving them up early. So consider leveling them up early on and choose them either whenever someone is too selfish to do it or if you just enjoy being a helpful teammate. So you don't always have to go around blowing zombies' heads off, alright? Then people can't blow the zombies' heads off if you're not there to help them. A lot of people know now that friendly fire is enabled in World War Z and uh, it's a bit frustrating. So watch your shots and don't shot block. So watch where you're shooting and throwing grenades because uh, you can't melee your teammates. Just put that one in there. But as, as well as avoiding shooting your own teammates, you should also be cautious of where you stand. Because you might get some lead into your back and uh, stop your teammates getting shots on the zombies. After playing online with random people, I've noticed that there's uh, a lot of players that like to stand in front, uh, go from left to right while shooting without a care in the world. Don't be that person, alright? It's very frustrating. Because a lot of people are used to strafing whilst they shoot, even when they're not getting shot back at, just because of all the other games you play, your majority of the time you're getting shot back. So, always complete the game on normal before progressing, because it might be, def it might be tempting to uh, up the difficulty really early on, but don't, because it'll make progress much slower. Uh, instead, beat the game on normal and then move on to a higher difficulty because by this point you should be between level 15 and 17 which will take you most of the way through your talent tree. Only then will you be tough enough to make a harder difficulty worthwhile. So don't just rush, rush straight into that insane because you won't have the skills and the perks, you'll just get absolutely ripped to shreds. Like Paul Pot. Leave the med kits for medics. So it seems pretty obvious, but med kits are best left for the medics unless your whole squad is full health and the medic already has full med kit. The reason for this is because there's a perk that will also heal the medic for 25% of the healing provided, meaning the medic can both be heal a teammate and get some healing for themselves. Which yes, doesn't benefit you, alright, it doesn't. But you're not a helpful teammate. Which means healing it just means healing is much more effective and efficient as well. The only time you might want to do this is if you're playing with a random medic that doesn't heal anyone and isn't on voice chat. It's 2019. They should all be on voice chat. Alright. So uncool not to. Headshot the hazmat zombies. So as with any shooter, headshots are always where the damage is going to be. But this is even more true in World War Z, especially when fighting the hazmat zombies. Because the zombies that explode when you kill them and leave that annoying poisonous gas in the air, you don't you, you don't want them there. Yeah, well if you kill them with a clean headshot, they don't leave gas behind, so always go for the headshot. I remember a game like that before where you if you shot the canisters, obviously they'd explode, but there'd be gas every So always just aim for the head, you'll make it a lot easier. So the bulls do have weak spots, as as well as the hazmat zombies. They're the zombies that charge at you and choke slam you as if possessed by some sort of wrestler. Bull's weak spot is the exposed spine on its back, so if the bull is charging you, while it's still probably going to get you before you can kill it, you should tell your teammate to shoot its back, not its head, to kill it quicker so that you don't take much damage. Take one for the team, just take a choke slam for the team so all your teammates can shoot him in the back. Preserve your health as well, okay? Don't rush into using your med kits, because it's tempting to act like out of the blue or reckless when faced with loads of zombies, so especially when you know there's a kill scoreboard at the end. As obvious as it seems, try not to lose health. Med kits are few and far between in the the, the whole game. So if you take too much unnecessary damage, you'll soon find yourself having to run away from almost every zombie you see, unless you're a slasher that it 
the, they specialise in melee combat. You should be keeping your distance from the zombies most of the time. So don't run in there like, ah, with a shotgun, because you'll probably lose a lot. Of Always keep your eye out for breach in charge. Whenever you see a door that requires a breach in charge, take a stroll around the area and look for one, as you'll usually find one in close, like, area of the door. Best of all, once you have found some, you'll always know where to get some next time you play that mission, as they spawn in the same place. So maybe use them for something else. This might be pretty obvious as well, but some people seem to don't know this how, I don't know why. Shoot the base of the zombie pyramid so when they're climbing on top of each other. So when zombies are trying to get over the wall or fence, they will clamber on top of each other to form a pyramid. When they do this, shoot the zombies at the base and watch the zombie structure collapse. You can then easily pick off the zombies that aren't a threat and it uh, it just saves you a lot of hassle and ammo as well. Don't go for the ones at the top because they'll keep climbing. Now, see, these have just been like beginner's tips and all that kind of stuff to help you get through the first few levels and give you some basic knowledge of the game. So are you enjoying it? Because if you are, let me know. I'll be giving you a video on it next week, but that'll be funny moments. So I've given you tips. And now you can now you can see if I use the tips because if I don't, rip me apart in the comments. I hope they have helped though, and I really do think that you game because it will definitely make you do a bit better. Thank you for watching. Don't forget, click on the other videos to stay on the channel because I know you don't want to leave. And YouTube only likes me if you stay on my channel for a few more videos. And I hope you have a good day.